decided to make this video about how to make a capstone because we recently hosted a qualifier and we saw that a lot of teams, especially like junior teams or rookie teams, they didn't have enough uh, information on how to make capstone. So if you come here, we can first start off by uh, like what it, what the capstone dimensions are. So there's this really uh, useful Reddit post and it shows you what the minimum and maximum size is. So our capstone that we designed, it was uh, the maximum dimensions possible. So then later, uh, you need to figure out what the block dimensions are, which is what we based our capstone off of. So if you go over here and just search up FTC block dimensions and then click this link to Rev Robotics, it brings you to this site. Um, and what we're looking for is the drawing and the CAD. Uh, so if you look over here, this drawing has uh, all the information you need, uh, like the sizes and then uh, the degree angles. Um, and then if you look over here, this is what they provided um, as the CAD file. So it's like, it's a, it's a normal block with the indents on the bottom. And then this is what we designed. So it's just a, it's very similar to the block. Um, and you can see it over here, but it's just a little bit shorter to fit dimension um, because the normal block size is five inches, but the cap was four inches. So we, this together is four inches. So you can see that it was pretty easy. Uh, all you had to do is just start off um, with a rectangle on the bottom and then you extrude it out. Um, we're using SOLIDWORKS for this program. And then you create another, uh, an another drawing on the top uh, with these two squares and you can extrude that. Um, and then we also put our team, our, we, we also put our team name, 9965, um, so people could recognize it, that it was our capstone. So this is the max dimensions you can have, four inches by four inches by eight inches. So thank you. And if you think this was a helpful video, upload and subscribe and turn on that notification bell.